Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is an update for the Graveyard Project Pan. I really enjoy this project. It was created by Emily. She has come up with a lot of great projects. I will link her in the description box. And basically this project ban goes until the end of October. And there's two categories of products we could have picked either collecting cobwebs or resurrection products. Resurrection products are items that were in another project pan that you didn't finish and collecting cobwebs are items that have just been kind of sitting around collecting dust. So I think this project is so much fun. I don't have any empties yet, but like I said, it goes until end of October. So I am hoping to hit my goal on at least a few of these products. I only have five items in this project. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the updates. And if you're interested in more Project Pans, check out my Project Pan playlist. I do a lot of Project Pans and Shop My Stash on my channel and I upload four videos a week. Stay tuned for more and let's get started. The first item is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Fawn, which obviously is a darker shade for me that I use for like a cream bronzer or cream contour. This is a collecting cobwebs item for me. I really had not used it that much. This one, I wasn't trying to finish per se. I just wanted to get more use out of it. And since this project started, I've only used this three times, which granted is three times more than I had used it in like the six months before. So it's not all bad, but I wish I had used this more. The problem is, is that I'm working on this cream contour stick in another project pan. And I've been much more focused on this. And I admit also, this is also much easier to use because you just take the stick and swipe it on your face. Whereas this is a bit messy. It's one of these like, squeezy tube products and yeah it just it takes a bit more time honestly to use this than to just slap this on my face um but hey at least i've used it three times that's something now next up is this concealer from too faced and this is a resurrection product because i had this in another project pan last year obviously i did not finish it um now, I've been using this very regularly for several months. Um, and actually, yeah, it hasn't really settled or anything, but I think I'm making progress because the last couple times I used it, I had to kind of swirl it around like this to get product on the wand. So I actually think I am making progress. So yeah air bubbles are happening. There's so much in here. Yeah, this is half a fluid ounce. Most concealers are like 0.2 to 0.3. So this is half the size of your standard foundation. But I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm wearing this today. I've been wearing this almost every day for several months now. So we will see what happens with that. The next item I am very excited about, this is, let me see, this is a collecting cobwebs item. This is the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Boss Up. And I had to take the stopper out of this lipstick. This is something I'm really hoping to finish. Um, there is a decent amount of product in there. The stopper was holding back a lot. I was actually surprised. I could not get any more on the wand, but then when I took the stopper out, I was surprised by how much is still in here. And there's now like a whole bunch on the wand too. So, but the problem is, is like several of you guys told me that these lipsticks do start to dry out. And I have noticed that even before I took the stopper out. And of course, since taking the stopper out, it's starting to dry faster. So. I really need to get going on this. I think I may try to put like one drop of a face oil in there to revive it a little bit. I don't quite need to do that yet, but I am getting close. That is something I've done to kind of revive dried out cream products before is just put like one or two drops of a face oil in there and it actually works really well. The other thing I've done is spray a little bit of a setting spray and that has helped me too. I've revived I'm trying to remember what I revived with a setting spray. Oh, that's how I have revived my ABH brow pomade, which I've had for years. And that thing will like get dried out. And then I just spray some setting spray on there and it works again. So 
I don't really mind doing that with cream products as long as they're not like getting to the point where they're irritating my skin or something like that. If they're just a little bit dry, I can revive it. So I'm okay with that. I'll see how that works for this. I may need to do that soon. But yeah, I was so surprised when I took the stopper out because yeah, there was way more in here than I thought. The next item I wish I had made more progress on. This is a resurrection product. It's been in several project pans in the past. That is the Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic. My goal for this is to hit pan on it and obviously I have not done that. <laughs> I've used this bronzer so much and I do have the other Marc Jacobs bronzer in the black packaging and I'm trying to completely finish that one in my Finish 10 in 2022 project pan. And it took so long to hit pan on it. There's so much product in these bronzers. I'm nowhere close to finishing the other one. I admit I used the other one a lot more than this one. I've still used this a decent amount in the last few months, but I would say two thirds of the days I'm using the Tantric one, not the Tantastic. So we'll see. I mean, end of October, could I hit pan? I mean, there is a dip in there for sure, because like I said, I've used this a lot and it's been in, a few different projects over the years. Um, I don't know, I'm not convinced I can hit pan, but at least I'm using it a lot. So, you know, that's not bad. Alrighty, and the last item to update you on, I am excited, I have really, really good progress. And this is the Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade contour. And this was a collecting cobwebs item because I barely used this, I mean, honestly, all of my lip liners are collecting cobwebs, that is for sure. However, I've been using this very, very regularly and I've been loving it. And it's kind of reviving my love for lip liner. I'm not wearing it today. Today I'm just, my hair is so crazy today. I don't even know. <laughs> I mentioned in a couple of videos, I'm trying not to use heat on my hair as much as possible just because I want to grow it out. And yeah. This is all I could come up with for today, and it's a little scary, I admit, but that's okay, we're going with it. So let me show you the progress. Pat McGrath contour, look at that. This is where I was at the intro, and this is where I am now. That's really good, I'm really excited about that. So I actually think I could potentially finish this if I start using it very, very regularly. Um, I mean, and I haven't even been using this every day and this is the progress that I made. So that's pretty cool. I have to say I'm really, really impressed with that. So my goal is still going to be to finish this, this, which this I think I can do now that I took the stopper out. I'm feeling decent about it. Um, this I think I still maybe could finish. I don't know about this. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on the Marc Jacobs bronzer. And then the LA Girl concealer that I'm using as bronzer, that, like, that's the only one that I don't have a solid goal on. I just want to get use out of it and see how it goes. So that I'm just kind of like, if I use it even like five more times, that's totally fine with me. So, but these three I really do want to finish. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that is it for this project pan update. I am happy with my progress. I think that especially for those three items that I'm trying to finish, I think I actually have pretty decent progress. Also considering that I'm doing several other project pans, finish 10 in 2022, deck of panning and partners in cream project pan. So yeah, got a lot of projects going on. But yeah, I am enjoying it. And that is it for this update. Check out Emily. More info will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.